Hi everyone, Sajid Amit here and welcome to a very quick review of the beautiful, diminutive yet dashing Ferrum Audio Ur and Hypsis. So the Ur is Ferrum Audio's headphone amp, it's their flagship headphone amp. As a matter of fact, it's their only headphone amp and the power supply here, which is called Hypsis, is this is amazing power supply. Let me switch it on. Um, yeah, so the power supply here what it does is, of course, it's actually compatible with other devices as well. So streamers, DACs, you name it. I've tried this briefly with the Core Dave and it makes a difference. So yeah, I mean, um, in this review, this is a pretty early stage review. I've had it for a few days now. And honestly, I wasn't planning on dropping this. My plan was to try this for at least a month and then share impressions by way of a written review and of course by way of an extended video review. But I mean, I've been so impressed with this stack that I think that, and I just wanted to share my early impressions. So in, this, in the remainder of the review, I'll talk very briefly about this amp, what it sounds like, and I'll talk about some comparisons and I'll also talk about uh, how it fares with headphones that I've tried this with. So I've tried this with four headphones, the HD650 I've tried this with, which is a high impedance headphone. I've tried this with the Biss, my one of my favorite headphones, which is difficult to drive. It's a planar magnetic headphone, as a lot of you will know. So I've tried this with the Biss. And um, yeah, I've tried this with another high impedance headphone, which is the Sennheiser HD6 800S, I'm sorry. I'll just put it here. See how small the stack is. And of course, I tried this with the headphone that is supposed to pair really well with, and I can tell you off the bat that is an extraordinary pairing with the mighty Hyphen Susvaras, right? So yeah, so moving on to the discussion on sound, what does the Ferrum Ur and Hypsa sound like? Well, to me, it sounds magnificent. It sounds neutral, yet natural. It's, it's not clinical, so when I think of clinical, uh, uh, an amp that sounds clinical is of course the topping in 90 and I used to like this amp way back when I hadn't heard better amps but now when I have this after I got this I tried a being between this and a 90 using Susvaros and within five minutes a 90 became unlistenable because there was this treble glare with a 90 which it doesn't have with this and honestly it took five minutes and I think what happens is your tastes do evolve as you listen to better and better gears and or that has been my experience and having tried so many gears honestly like after this i found the a90 unlistenable and the a90 is an amplifier that i've championed in the past that i've talked about in the past favorably but yeah i mean you know your tastes will evolve as they should as you listen to better and better gears so to start with the tonality, it's neutral, but it has an interesting way of presenting treble where you get a lot of treble energy, but it's never, ever, ever bright. And this was very obvi obvious and very evident with the HD100S, which can be bright of the wrong source. With the Ferrum stack, the 800 was very listenable. It was not never bright. So And, and the mid-range, as a matter of fact, is something that I think this does a very good job of sort of getting out of the way for it. Like, I don't think this adds any warmth or coloration to the mid-range, but headphones that have a nice mid-range, and this does have a nice mid-range, this has a famously lush mid-range, and Susvara also has a sweet mid-range. So all these headphones, right, that do mid-range well, I feel like need an amp like this, especially if you don't want an overly lush sound, because this is not overly lush. However, when you hear this, there is an interesting level of sweetness and warmth, which I don't think comes from the amp. I mean, it does, but what the amp does well is it, it gets out of the way. So you hear the warmth and the naturalness of live instruments, of the music, of the vocals and so forth. So, I mean, it's really interesting how this is tuned, but it works really well. It works so well that over the last three days, I think I averaged about six hours with the Susvaras. Honestly, like the only other time when I've had so much listening time with the Susvaras was after I got it, after I first got it. So this has in many ways, I mean, the Susvaras has always been one of my first loves, so to speak, but this in many ways has just reconnected me with the Susvaras. The Susvara doesn't sound as laid back on this. 
it doesn't sound aggressive. It's never going to be an aggressive sounding headphone. People say it's laid back. But with this, it's such a nice compliment to the Susvaras that you hear this amazing balance between being precise yet natural. Um, yeah, so this does bass really well. It grips the Susvara drivers really well. It actually produced pretty decent bass of the HD 100S, as, at least as decent as this is capable of. Um, with the bass, which as you know is the master of bass, uh, the Ferrum stack did bass extremely well. A very well controlled, tight, deep, slammy. So yeah, I mean, overall for tonality, I think this is like 100 out of 100 for its price point, honestly. This is magnificent. This is how I like it. Like if you're looking for a super syrupy, warm a sound, of course, you're not gonna be looking at solid state. You might be looking at, let's say, a Felix amp or even some of the Wu amps, especially the, the, you know, the mid-tier Wu amps. However, if you're looking for a solid state, this is as good as it gets for around $3,000, guys. This is fabulous. Now, to talk about te technical performance, starting with, let's say, output power and all that, uh, and I'll not get into too much technical specifications here, uh, that will get a separate video, and of course, I'll talk about uh, a, a lot more details in my written review of this stack. But let's just say that this, got, this is, has details and spades, a pitch black background, Beautiful airy soundstage with the 800S. Even Susvara was beautifully staged, laid out, layered with this stack. And just overall great timbre. So high marks. This power supply here is both linear and switch mode, which I'm told has the effect of making transients snappier. Now, I don't think it's necessarily very noticeable, but let's say the transients here are no less than the transients of my beefy $8,000 speaker amp, which I have, which is AccuPhase E380. So just the fact that I'm comparing this stack with an AccuPhase, which is a 50-year-old Japanese company, and I have an amplifier from them, which is around $8,500, with which I drive the Susvara and the TC. Just the fact that this is in the conversation with AccuPhase just says so much about Ferrum Audio, this company based out of Poland, it's just amazing, guys, what they've done with this. So, yeah, so technical performance-wise, it's really powerful. It outputs 8 watts into 60 ohms, so really, really powerful. Of the high gain here, I can drive the Susvaras at around 12 o'clock, and if I want to listen loud, maybe slightly beyond 12. Uh, it drives dynamic driver, high impedance cans really well, so it outputs actually 1.6 watts. At 300 ohms which is way more than enough for the Sennheiser cans and um, yes overall guys extremely extremely good value for money uh, I th I would take this over any of the head amp amps the mark the GSX mark 2 or the GSX mini I would take this over any of the bioelectric amps that I've heard uh, and I would take this over I, I want to say uh, even the benchmark HBA 4 as a matter of fact, it would be an easy choice over the benchmark HPA4 and certainly over the Fonitor amps. So this is, I think, one of the new best amps out there, guys. Uh, there are other amps that can beat this, of course, that are really high-priced amps. Like if you're talking about the Woo Audio Wild 33 or my AccuPhase E380 or Primavera Traffomatic, and these are amps like above $8,000, of course. But I think below $8,000 or below $5,000, you can't go wrong with this stack. This is very very impressive like i said i've been listening to my susvaras with this stack for hours and hours and hours the way i used to when i first got it so big shout out to firm audio for this amazing amazing stack uh, they have sent it in for review i do not get paid for saying anything positive about this stack i return it after my review i am considering buying it and that's a decision i'll make you know at, at the end of my sort of time with it it is amazing, so that, I, I hope that says something about how much I like this. And this, the dealer that I got this from is Vana Limited. I'll drop a link to their website as well, who are extremely easy to deal with, wonderful to deal with, very polite, very professional. So yeah, I mean, um, full marks for this wonderful setup, loving it. You guys should check it out, and of course, stay tuned for my longer term review and my written review on the Ferrum Audio or and Hipsys. That's it for me, Sajid Ahmed signing out. Stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.